What is going on, everybody? Hope everybody is enjoying their week. Hope you guys are ready for the new years. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Black Capino, the Apple Guy, and today I am actually doing a summary video to a few other videos that I have done in the past and have gotten numerous comments on. So I figured I would do a re kind of reversion of what I've already done in my last video, and that is simply how to add iTunes to your iTunes account and then check the balance. As all my previous other videos, um, Apple has since changed the way you do that. And in my last video where I actually showed the changes, um, I still get comments on that. People still getting confused with it. So this is kind of like a summary video, I guess, in a way to actually the differences between uh, how Apple has done it before versus how Apple has done it now. So in the past, if you wanted to add iTunes balances or basically if you want to buy apps, you simply would just usually for most people who usually buy apps would usually use a debit card or a credit card to kind of fund those apps or any in-app purchases or any subscriptions with the introduction of itunes cards now all you have to do is simply buy it in a certain denomination whether it was ten dollars fifteen dollars twenty twenty five up to five hundred dollars and then you could use that type of or you could use those funds to basically buy anything you wanted in the app store whether it was apps, movies, uh, TV shows, in-app purchases or subscriptions. That is basically what you would use to fund that. And then when your balance ran down to zero, it would simply by default take out money from your debit card or credit card. So I think a lot of people were getting confused between the two. Um, by default, when you first set up an iTunes account, it is always going to ask you, for entering in a debit card or credit card. You cannot enter in an iTunes card and use it as your default payment. That's not how that works. You always have to use by default your debit card or credit card. That will be basically like your main card if you run out of funds from your iTunes account. And again, I'll show you what that means in a few minutes. So say you're buying um, a movie and you have no funds on your iTunes account, the movie is $20. Well, it doesn't take it out of your iTunes account because your iTunes account has zero dollars to fund it it's going to take it directly from your debit card now say you go out and you buy itunes card something like these and you say you decide you want to add like 25 dollars to it and you want to buy a movie and say the movie is like say 15 dollars then it basically takes the 15 dollars from the itunes card and then whatever remaining balance you have left is what you have left and then when you run out of that it simply just takes the money from whatever's left from your itunes account and the rest from your debit card that is how that works I believe that's how it's always going to work. I don't see that ever, ever changing. So I think a lot of people are getting confused between when they buy an iTunes card, can you transfer money from an iTunes card to, like, say, your Apple Cash or to your bank account? Nope, you can't do that. Again, that's not what it's designed to do. Apple Cash is basically for someone who is kind of like PayPal or Venmo or Cash App that is strictly done between two people who have iPhones and you message them money and then they can put that to their Apple cash card and then they can either use that funds to either transfer it to their bank or they can use that as a form of payment for say um, any place that takes apple pay you simply would just use that instead of using your default debit card or credit card so basically what i'm going to show you is what i mean by itunes account so as you can see here this is we're going to go into the app store and then Actually, I'm going to exit out of this first. Now, to access your iTunes account, you're simply just going to go to either your picture or your name, depending on how you have it set up. You tap on the picture, and then as you can see here, it's got my email address. And then right under that, where it says credit is $0, that means that right now I currently have $0 in my account. So say I wanted to buy a movie or an in-app purchase or anything that involves money in the iTunes app store. So anything that involves money in this app store, if I do not have the funds to cover that, it will take it by default from my debit card. Now, if I wanted to alleviate that issue of taking it from my iTunes card or iTunes account, I simply would just purchase these, which are known as iTunes gift cards. Um, they no longer call them iTunes cards, although technically it's the same thing. It's just packaged in a different way. I simply would buy this in any denomination that I want, whether it be 10, 15, 20, 25, up to $500. That is what this will you this is what i will be using to fund any future purchases from the app store or itunes store uh no matter what it is and i'm buying in either of these apps it will take that funds away until i run out of money and then the credit runs to zero then it takes it and 
removes it from my debit card. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to add money from this to your iTunes account and then where you would go to find it as the previous ways that you used to be able to do it via the Apple wallet. You can no longer do that anymore. You all just do it straight from the iTunes account. So this is an iTunes card. This is about $20. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this open. Obviously you got the code right there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go again, tap to your name. And then where it says redeem gift card or code, send gift card by email or add funds via Apple ID. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. So if you wanted to do it via your Apple ID, you simply tap on that. And then what it'll do is it'll bring you to a sub screen. And then from here, it'll say loading Apple. And then again, all you have to do again, as you can see, my balance is $0. Again, all you have to do is simply tap on any one of these denominations or tap on other and add a different balance if you want something different from this. That's one way you can add money to this directly from your debit card and it will take the money from whatever amount that you take. So if you do it this way, then it will take whatever money you have from your debit card out of your account and fund it. So say you want to do like say $25, then it will take $25 from your debit card or your debit card bank account and then that's how you get $25. If you don't want it to do it that way, you just want to say you want to go at the store, you're at the store and you want to buy something, and then all you have to do is simply just, again, buy an iTunes card like one of these, and then I'm going to show you how to add that to this. So you're going to go into Redeem Gift Card or Code, you tap on that, and then what it's going to do is it's going to bring up Redeem Your Gift Code card using your camera. We're going to use the camera. Now when you use the camera, you can do it one of two ways. You can either do it with the camera facing up, like this and then you just simply would just put the card facing up down on this and then it picks it up that way or if you just want to lay it down and do it this way you can so we're going to put the card down see it hunts for the code then as you can see it looks for the code it found the code as for my face ID it loads up the code as you can see it's doing right now and then as you can see you've added $20 to your account under my name. So that basically means that any app that I decide to buy, it will take from that $20 balance. And then when I reach zero, it will take money from my debit account or credit card, depending on whatever I have set as a default payment. Now, again, the old way of doing it before, you simply would be able to tell from the balance right here, there would be something that would say iTunes, pass, and then the balance, just like you see on the Starbucks, that no longer exists. Apple has simply removed that. I'm assuming it was in a past iOS update. It's either going to be iOS 13 is when they removed it and no one noticed it. But again, if you want to check the balance, you simply just go into your app store, tap on your name or picture. And then again, under your email address, it'll say the balance. And that is literally all there is to it. I know there's been a lot of confusion between how to do that and how not to do that. But um, again, I hope that this video will explain that in a way that it's a lot easier. That way you don't have to uh, freak out or flip about um, being unable to buy an app because you don't have the money in your account. So again, by default, whatever payment you use by default, whether it's your debit card or credit card, that is what you use if you have zero balance or zero money in your account. So if you have no iTunes card money in there, anytime you buy an app or anything like that, it's gonna take money from that. If, again, you buy something like this, an iTunes card in any denomination that you want, it will continue to take funds from that until you run out of money. And again, if you want to see how much money you have up in your account, you simply go into the App Store, tap on your name, and then again, on your email address, it will show the balance. And that is pretty much it. So again, if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up as these, as these thumbs ups help me get create better content. And again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way you don't miss content when I drop it. Feel free to browse my channel. And I got a new video coming up as well as I also bought myself another Sony camera. So stay tuned for that as well. So again, I want to thank everybody for watching and I will see you guys in 2021.